How to get scratch res? What? And here's to prove them on console, and yes, you get extra FOV. All right, so this is what my game usually looks like. Now, this is what my game looks like with the stretch, and this is my game with the stretch plus the extra FOV setting. And yes, I am on my console. Look. So as you can tell, the stretch setting is awful, but if you combine it with the FOV setting, then it gives you OG stretch on console. But the FOV setting only works if you apply the doo doo regular stretch first. All right, let's go into career for the tutorial. All right, so remember, this is what the normal stretch resolution looks like. Anyone can get this on any console, but there's a huge problem. But I need to warn you guys that using this will cut off half your screen, and there's no way anyone could actually use this. <laughs> like, I mean, look! This is absolutely awful, the normal stretch, but if we want to get the OG FOV plus the stretch, we're gonna need to actually set up the dookie stretch first, which is why I'm previewing it. The reason why I need to warn you, because let's say you're in a box with someone, and they're over in that corner, having just the normal stretch can sometimes mess up your vision, because it's just stretching your game out, but not giving you any extra FOV by pulling it back. And then also having such bad quality, in theory, if someone's standing all the way over there, you probably wouldn't even be able to see him, because how bad your quality is gonna look. But once again, remember, we have to go through this awful process, we can reach the light at the end of the tunnel, which is adding the extra FOV. The sad thing is, is that only works if we apply this awful stretch you see on my screen. Alright, so this is how you're actually gonna get this. <laughs> we can move quickly past this and show you the FOV setting. Remember though, the FOV setting doesn't work without this, so pay attention. Alright, so what you guys are gonna want to do is hit your home button of your console. Yes, this works on any console. So go to the home screen. Now, wherever it may be, you want to locate something called setting. You may have to search around, but promise you, every console has this. And once you have this, click on it. Now, you're just gonna scroll around your settings until you find something to do with TV and display. Or wherever this may be, I promise you that will be a screen. Click on this. Now, most likely your resolution will be 1920 by 1080 or 720p. You're going to need to find video fidelity and overscan. Ah, warning! Remember, this doesn't give you the real stretch. It's just the first step so that that second step will work. Now, where it says display, you're going to click on this and now change it up to something called DVI. Apply that. Resolution and put all the way down to 640 by 480. PS4 players, listen up because you need to put this in on your PS4 or 5 as well. Then just go ahead and apply that. Now, just go straight back to your Fortnite game. Ooh, and now you have the dookie stretch. Now, let's combine them with this insane FOV setting and the dookie stretch we just got. And I'll get into why there's a snowman that plays a big role in it. So now you have the stretch and FOV. With the stretch giving you worse quality, you should now actually have better performance and input delay. Now on console, I know this is hard to believe. And yes, you can get more FPS if you have performance mode enabled on your console. You're probably looking at me crazy. But there's no performance mode on console. Well, yes, there is if you watched my last video. Whoa, don't go to that video just yet. You still have to learn how to get the FOV. And the reason you need more FOV, remember when I was talking about that box earlier? Well, now you've got the FOV, you can literally see this whole box on your screen, whereas before you couldn't. Therefore, if someone was in this box, you can now kill them much easier. And get insane advantage over them on console. Same with editing. You're now further back. Therefore, the tiles are actually smaller. And it actually makes your edits faster. But this is literally a win-win-win. Sheesh. I do have to give you a serious warning. After I tried out Stretch to my console for the first time ever. Because this has never been available to console players before. And I'm the first one uploading it. I've never looked back. Every time I play Fortnite, I now can't play without the Stretch. So just as a warning, if you do want to try this out, most likely you will never be able to play again without Stretch. Because it's so overpowered on console. And any of you watching at home can do this. And for those people that say your game looks awful after applying stretch, well, on console, I guess it just hits different. Because honestly, my game looks amazing. It honestly feels amazing. Runs so much smoother. And you'll be able to see so much more of your surroundings. Console already struggles with getting better FPS. And after all these years of watching Mongrel on Stretched on PC, you can now do it at home on your very own console. And this will work on whatever console you want to try it on. Now, I personally like to use special settings to edit fast. And as you can tell, I have the stretch plus the FOV. And I can still use all my secret tips to edit fast. Sheesh! I even took full damage. Oh, look, did you notice when I died? I dropped snowman. I think it's almost time to tell you why these snowmen are so important and vital to getting your extra FOV plus your stretch resolution on console. All right, so I just removed the effect. Now I should be back to the dookie stretch. Now, let me teach you once and for all how you can get the FOV. So as you can see, yes, I'm on my normal console. Let me go on to Fortnite. And yes, I have no extra FOV right now. All right, so no matter what console you're on, you're going to hit up on the D pad. And when you get to this screen, you're going to come over and hit RB. And now you're going to go ahead and scroll all the way over to the consumables tab. Now, once we found this, this is where the snowman you've all been waiting for comes into it. So you're gonna press on the sneaky snowman and equip it to your hotbar. Now, I would go up one layer and just make sure you have some flooring so it's all nice and even. Now, you're just gonna throw down your snowman on the floor, bring out your creative phone. Now, depending on your controls, you're gonna hold down the left trigger and assign it to whatever slot I'm gonna do up on the D-pad and to the right. Now, holding the same trigger, you're gonna put up and then right on the D-pad. The two slots that you saved the snowman in. You're gonna just keep clicking between them and flickering like this. You should notice there is actually a hide button that appears. My interact button is LB. I'm gonna start spamming my two buttons to select and then also my hide button. After doing this for long enough, you can let go, come out of the creative phone, and you have glitched out now, and you have the extra FOV plus your stretch resolution. Make sure to drop a like, guys. I'm the first one to upload this, so please drop a like, and subscribe for more unique console tips like this. Now, go watch that performance mode video. Click up here on screen. Click it.